guys, it's Marcy Sauter, the Rusty Blonde. Welcome back to my channel today. I am coming on to do a January 15th budget with you. And I'm going to give a little bit of information on what bills I pay and things like that so that you can have an idea of why we budget the way we do. So if you're interested at all in seeing how that's done, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so this is my budget binder and this is made by Happy Planner, super cute. And I just created this with a calendar and then created some sheets that I would use to help me do my budget. So how this is set up, my first um, section here is cash funds. And this is basically our lifestyle cash list. So we are on a cash budget system. So every paycheck, which we get paid twice a month, we go to the ATM and I pull out a certain amount of money and budget it out into our categories and that's what we live on. This next section here is my debt trackers that I'm getting around to getting them set up and everything, but I thought they were really cute. I'll put the debt, the balance, the start date, the plan, and then, you know, kind of color, color it in as I pay it off. The next section is our sinking funds. And this section here is everything um, we transfer into savings. So it has our emergency fund and then everything that reoccurs annually is basically divided up into the months. So each paycheck we deposit into our sinking funds. That way, when the time comes, we have the money set aside to pay for that item. And I can go into depth on that in another video. This is my actual budget calendar, and I'm gonna show you a blank one first. So this is March, and it's basically a two-page calendar. And I just go through and I write what bill we're gonna pay and the amount that's due or the amount that we're going to pay and I just write it on the due date. That's what I do. And then I created these sheets, a bill pay checklist, and then basically, what is this one called? My expense tracker. And that's what I use in between. So going into January's, I've already done the first paycheck, which was this section here. This is my bill pay checklist for the second paycheck and how we have it set up. I list all of the bills, the amount that's going to be paid, and the due date. And basically I take that total, we'll put my checking account balance here, and then the amount of our paycheck here, and any extra income, which at this time, I don't really budget in the income I make off of Amazon, YouTube, and my t-shirt business, because I don't make much at this time, and I'm okay with that, but I basically, I just don't wanna have to rely on what I get. So anyways, and then we'll take that, we'll minus our total bills, minus our lifestyle expenses, which is the ATM withdrawal, and then I put in my gas allowance, which is set at $60 for now because both of our tanks are full. So that should get us through the month if we even need that. Now this miscellaneous or unexpected, I have a few things. One thing I forgot to do in the past couple months was budget in our paper goods and household items such as toiletries, toothpaste, shampoo, soap, toilet paper, paper towels, all of our paper goods and things like that. And I also had a Melaleuca membership, which has since been canceled. Basically, we had to make adjustments and up that amount. I went through what I needed, and for this pay period, I needed $65 to pay pick up some paper good items and I needed $65 to buy the TurboTax. So that is the miscellaneous expenses for this month. In all, I'm gonna pull $720 from the ATM, which I did that. 
And basically this is how we break it down. Commission is the amount of money we pay our kids for the work they've been hired to do. Basically, I budget $80 per paycheck and pull that out. Then I have our food budget set at 200, Costco 75, household 20, animals at 40, clothing at 50, personal care 15, gifts 40, Ian's money, his fund is 20, my fund is 20, a coffee fund of 10, and then fund money is 20, and that's for the family or whatnot. And here are the extras I was talking about, my $25 or $65 for taxes and then the extra items I'll be using. So with that being said, let's go ahead and budget the money out and get going on that. Last night I went through and made sure all of my envelopes matched what was on my little ledgers here. And for those of you who don't know, I have an entire playlist on my planner wallet and how I use it, how I decorate it and all of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I have all of my budgeting envelopes here and we're going to separate it out and start budgeting. So first things first, for my food, I'm going to put um, 200 in plus the 75 for Costco. So 115 deposit, or plus 275 dollars, which there was nothing left. So that will be my balance. Two seventy five into that envelope. Next is household. I had a balance of twenty dollars in there. And what I'm going to be budgeting is $20 a paycheck. So I'm gonna add that. But if you remember, I have all of these extra expenses that I need to budget for this paycheck. So again, I'm putting TurboTax um, money in there and then for laundry, wipes, and then garbage bags. I know we're running low on, so I know that I will probably have to pick those up this month. So that is a total of 130 on top of my regular budgeted. So 120, 30, 150 is the, what's going in there today. Okay, so I'm gonna list this in two different um, sections, not sections, two different lines so that I know I put my monthly amount in there and then the extras we needed. I'm trying to write so that you guys can see over my hand. So I should have a total of 170, 50, I'm sorry, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. Okay, next is our pet section. I have 160 is the balance, and I'm going to be adding 40 today. a total of 200 in our pet fund. Next is beauty fund and that gets $15 a month. I have 65 in there. 
So 75, 80. Next is our clothing fund, and I add $50 a paycheck into our family clothing fund. We have 170 is our total. Next section is commission, and that's what I pay out my kids on a weekly budget. They get paid um, for the jobs that they complete for the week, and so I'm going to go ahead and budget that out. And that brings the total to 141. Next we have gifts. I'm going to be adding 40 into gifts. Bringing this total to 140. Next is fun money for the family, and this budget is 20. Which brings it to $50. Next budget is my fund which is 20 plus the coffee. No. I'll give my husband the 20 and then I'll do this for me. So I have $51 in my fund. So there you have it. Then the back of this is just my debit cards and gift cards, business cards, movie tickets, and then I keep stamps and a couple checks in there. So anyways, there you have it. That is my budget until we get paid at the end of the month and then we will be starting February's budget. So if you have any questions, please comment below. And if not, you guys have a great day and we will see you on my next video. Okay, bye.